can you buy anything on the water here in Miami for under a million dollars? Watch this video and we will know. But I don't really have a case You don't have to mention You just like their attention It's written all over your face I don't wanna play the quiet time When I'm near you Reading old messages on my phone Every time I see bosses how are you doing once again we are here in our house in Hollywood where today we have four teams working at the same time one of them is the Stucco team we are putting the Stucco all over the house so on the front we already have it on this side we already have it and now they are working on the north side of the house and sorry on the west side of the house and the south side of the house so once this is done we're going to start painting and basically we are going to be just as we are in our house all the way there in lighthouse point so here we can see that this part we still need to put the stucco but nevertheless the guys are working diligently to work that out the second team that are here is the guys that are doing the stairs uh, here to access the pool so we still need to put concrete here so the guys are doing all the framings and everything that we need to put the concrete there to complete everything on the structure of the house because those steps are a main part of this work is the same crew that does that and also on the inside we have guys doing plumbing we have the guys doing sorry about that we have the guys doing the electrical and we have them also doing the AC so a lot of work doing here right now being done uh, here right now so this house gets the same pace that we have there in lighthouse point and also we have this is the stair oh we have we have a part of this stair i don't know which stair is that but we have a lot of things going on here today and i want to take this chance to show look how much of a yard we are going to have here the house is all the way back there the street is all the way in the front and everything here is going to be the driveway and the front yard of this house of course here we're going to have another entrance where you want to go this way and park your car there so they already finished this took in most of the house right here we have we have the guys doing on this side and this little yellow wall here remember is the wall from the original house that we demolish almost everything to have here so it's very nice to see progress in this house this house is very tall very tall very good ceiling heights and from this side we are going to be able to access the um, outdoor kitchen we are going to be able to access the pool and of course the docks that we are going to build right here and on this side we still don't have this stucco yet because they start on the other one and come into here and this is our beautiful house 
here in Hollywood, Florida, that is already on the market for 2.9 million. We are waterfront, just a few lots from the intercoastal. From here, you can access the ocean, no problem, because we don't have any fixed bridges, and that's why this house has a very nice value. This will have five bedroom, six bathroom, one half bathroom, and a lot of space for you to live here in South Florida. Miami or South Florida just one thing come to our mind living waterfront it can be on the ocean it can be on the intracoastal or in a little canal people want waterfront here in South Florida well the truth is real estate it's a supply and demand game as anything else and when we talk about property two things differentiate the most in this scenario the number of people that want to buy that which is demand and how many property you can offer to those people which is supply and when we talk waterfront that's a problem virtually everyone wants to live on the water but most of the people cannot afford it for one simple reason we don't have enough supply to everyone and once the demand overcomes the supply the prices go up and since the coastline of any part of the world is substantially less than anything in country of course waterfront properties are more expensive than anything else add to that a destination like miami which is a cosmopolitan city we have a lot of people wanting to come here a lot of foreigners leaving their country to live in south florida and choose miami to be their home that makes very hard to buy anything on the water with a nice view with a nice property for under a million dollars And to control the amount of people that live in certain areas, often the cities and the municipalities and the county, they put regulations to limit the number of units that you can build or the density that you can use. City like Bay Harbor, for instance, can, can, doesn't allow you to build a building with more than seven stories. Here in, in uh, Sunny Isles, you can do that. You can have ri high rises. But as you increase the number of units that you can actually build under one parcel of land, the parcel of land becomes much more expensive. One parcel of land here in Sunny Isles can go for a quarter of a billion dollars, a billion with a B. And of course, the more expensive the land is, the more expensive will be the property that you build on top of it. But there's some areas that are not yet so glamorous, so well discovered by people and with not so new properties but still you can find very nice homes for under a million dollars as i was doing this research for someone in brazil that wants to live here in miami but they cannot live anywhere else that doesn't have a very nice water view like this i found out there are some points here in miami that you can find very well maintained or even uh, fully renovated townhomes that you can buy for six hundred thousand dollars and more and that's not trashy thing that you're going to buy and put a lot of money to renovate this is very well maintained look just one second this is like a this is what a Monday afternoon looks like here in Miami. Back to our subject. As I've been telling you for several and several videos and podcasts and articles on my blog, mostly in Portuguese on that side, there's a lot of supply right now here in Miami when we talk about townhouses and condo. And that, of course, helps the prices to go down. 
and as we get to the lower season which is right where we are until November December and January uh, this is a great opportunity to buy those properties that are waterfront and under a million dollar because the, the sellers they just want to get out of their their properties they made the investment years ago they already have a lot of money on that and they just want to cash out to do something else and that's when is a perfect moment for you to buy your dream home your dream town home having a view just like this one so in the description of this video I put a link where you can find the most recent listings for waterfront properties here in Miami under a million dollars there's only townhomes that I listed there but if you want something more specific you can um, contact me and maybe I will find you your dream home Thank you.